bombs bursting in hell gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say, oh, hey, what's up? You're getting your daily dose of motivation. This is episode 199. Sorry, you caught me doing my um, my daily my daily singing of the national anthem. I'm very very into America. I wish I wish she was into me, but I'm into America. Anyway, enough jokes. Don't have time. I know you're in a hurry, and so am I. I got a lot of stuff going on. But uh, I want to take time to talk to you while I go do these millions of things. And what I wanted to talk about was sleeping on it. Put sleep on it. You know what I'm saying? Put some sleep. Sprinkle some sleep on some shit. If you try to make some decisions and you're not quite sure, people always tell you to sleep on it. And I've never really listened to that and uh, acknowledged it and then practiced it in my life um, until last night. I guess on purpose anyway. And last night, long story short, if you haven't seen my posts recently, I put a post out asking people if they would like a holiday card from moi. And I did not anticipate that nine billion people were going to want a picture of this dude's face. And um, and I'm okay with that. That's fine. It's just been stressful getting it together. And I was excited to do it and just imagining all these pretty people just opening up their cards and seeing my mug and going, oh my God, I feel so good inside. I got excited. <laughs> I, I put everybody's addresses on nine million bajillion uh, fucking envelopes and then I put stamps on them and then I <clears throat> printed out these really cool return address labels and I put those on every single one and then I put a post uh, on Instagram about it and I was literally gonna wake up the next day and drop them off at the, at the uh, I almost said the airport but whatever the post office and my sister reminded me that it might not be such an amazing idea to um, send out you know, over 200 envelopes with my home address on it, where she lives, where my buddy lives, where I live, where my niece and nephew live. Not the greatest idea. And <clears throat> as soon as she said that, I actually got kind of annoyed. I was like, this bitch, this bitch right here. And the reason why I got annoyed after I analyzed it was, um, well, let me just put it this way. I got annoyed then I got like kind of slightly angry and then I uh, became really anxious and like paranoid because I don't like to disappoint anybody like not even a stranger let alone my family I don't like to disappoint my family I don't like tension and fighting I'm sure nobody does but like I really get torn up inside because uh, I'm always beating myself up. I'm, I'm working on it, but I'm always beating myself up anyway. And then if I know that I'm disappointing someone that I love or I'm annoying them or doing anything wrong and not being perfect like I always am, I start to freak out a little bit. So I recognized that last night. I was trying to sleep and, uh, you know, my first reaction was, fuck that, I'll do whatever I want. I pay for rent, you know. I already put, and then I looked at the, the root of everything and I realized the only reason why I was giving so much trouble was because it was so much work to, to do all of those envelopes. It took so long and I was finally done. And the minute I finished, you know, imagine that you were working on a really crazy project at work. You finished it. It took you so fucking long. And then your boss came up and they were like, you got to redo all of that shit, which I'm sure happens to a lot of us all the time. And now imagine how you feel. Not that great. So I looked at that and I was originally just going to be like, fuck it. I already did it. It's so much work to fix it. I'm going to just mail it out and uh, take a chance. I mean, most people are good people, right? But I started getting anxious because I decided to sleep on it. For the first time in my life, I was like, you know what? I'm going to sleep on it and I'm really going to think it over in my dreams. And <laughs> when I wake up, I'll make my final decision. And I woke up the next day and I just knew 
that she was right. It's not the smartest idea to send your address out to tons of people you don't know because we just don't know people. And especially when there's children involved and um, I don't know, it, it's just she was right, I was wrong, which is another th hard thing for me to admit. So what it really comes down to is the next day I woke up and I knew what decision I had to make, you know, the right one, which was to not mail those out. Yeah, it's gonna take a lot of time to fix it and more money, <laughs> but it's the right thing to do. So I made an adult decision again and I feel good about that. It's gonna be more work, but I know it's the right one. Um, basically, I had to go get a P.O. box, so I have that now, and it's kind of cool now that I think about it because anybody that wants to can send me anything. You can send me uh, boxes of money. You can send me a wife um, that's willing to be my wife and just wants to meet me at my P.O. box, I guess, and uh, I don't know, just letters, whatever. You know, I have this plan to hopefully be famous for real and um, I figure I might as well just get that P.O. box, you know, put that thought out there, the secret and all that, you know, I'm gonna be famous, so I might as well have this P.O. box, it's not that crazy to have. So now you can send me stuff. Um, if you really, really wanna send me something, a letter, whatever else, uh, maybe some escargot, I don't know, whatever you want. I think the address is 11909 Northeast 65th Avenue. Uh, number eight three no sorry number eight two three one seven four Vancouver Washington nine eight six eight two um, when I edit this later I'll put the actual address on there I just want to know if maybe I got it right so I guess you'll see when I put the address up but I just got it today literally so uh, if I did remember that I'm gonna be very proud of myself because I don't have the greatest memory so my point is, is if you have a big decision to make, um, or if you're arguing with somebody and you get caught up in the moment, you get emotional, you're feeling all kinds of things and you get frustrated, it, it is hard. I've been this way most of my life. I'll get frustrated, especially if I feel like it's so important and I feel like everything's important because I freak out about everything. So um, I usually make really fast choices without thinking. And I think that uh, if you're like that, it's not a good idea. I've spent most of my life doing it and, it, and I had a lot of regrets from, from pulling the trigger too quickly, from executing uh, whatever decision I made way too fast. And I was like, wow, I should have slept on that. So that's all I'm saying. That saying is a good one. And if you have a really huge decision or you're going through an argument or whatever it is you're trying to figure out, maybe give it a moment. You don't necessarily have to actually sleep, but give it a pause, give it a sleep, hold your breath for five seconds, I don't know, but just think on it for a second before you pull the trigger and you execute whatever you're thinking. That sounds really harsh. Pull the trigger and execute whatever you're thinking. Uh, let's say it nicely. Before you um, release the butterflies and, I don't know, finger the bees. I made this worse, I feel like. <laughs> Why are you kidnapping bees? Don't, or kidnapping butterflies and fingering bees. I don't know what I'm talking, I'm trying to concentrate while I'm driving, but you get what I'm saying. Just think on it, sleep on it, think on it. And, uh, and you know, just make better decisions because I know I'm trying to, and I finally, I got one, I got one. I did one great decision and I feel like an adult, even though it's 20 million times more work, I'm gonna do it. Adult life, right? Anyway hope y'all are having a great one if you're not you are now because I said so and uh, whatever you're doing whatever you're going through I'm out here driving around going through it with you all right <laughs>